sensor chip. Yeah, it's crap, but uh, it's interesting. 20% accuracy while firing on the move. factory here one of you guys asked me to check something here on one of these mechs was it one of these guys it's outside Dude, it's hard to see. Can't see anything. I don't see any mechs, man, beyond those ones. I can't see anything in the dark either. see anything Shit, I kind of went through the, the ground there. Standing, sit standing disc? Yep. So what do I do now? Go to Hopetown. 
Oh man, they're, they're, it's basically going to send me straight to it. Oh, I like this. You just opened GOG Baldur's Gate 3 103 gigabyte update. And still no, uh, and still no real time with pause. And no lightning that hits your team members. Now I know why I didn't get the clicks. <laughs> That's not why I didn't get the clicks. Dude, I was given the game. I was given Baldur's Gate 3. I didn't have to buy it. Over 1,000 bug fixes doesn't mean 102 gigabyte update, man. That's like some... That's like a... Someone did like a texture push, man. There's there going to be some something so like a new a new light bake pass new something man like that's a lot of textures uploaded right there a lot that's all of them something's happened uh let's just sell from ship inventory one two three four Um, all the yeah here we were we're up to this yep I don't want to hear any complaints then be quiet you here for commerce or another? You ready to do some business? A lot of my business, so I have to. Good. I was in uni when I finished the first BG. How do you like uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 versus 3, dude? Explosive old earth. This thing seems like it'd be pretty good. It's only supposed to be around 15 gig gold messed up somewhere. Okay, I 
Hello. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. You start playing BG3 tomorrow? Good luck, dude. You'll probably enjoy it a lot. It's a very good game. If you like Divinity Original Sin 2, then you're going to love it. Because it's We'd basically be done, the same. Except for the factory. Very much tell it's Just made by the, the same team. Rookie, right? If you get the credits, we got what you need. Generous, Mr. Hope. It's well earned, Hope Worlders. Nothing ever we gets set some ambitious them. quotas. You met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and however you like. Thanks. I appreciate that. Something more you need, Deputy? Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the Marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? You can drop the act, Hope. Of course. What have you learned? No, and I don't care for the insinuation. The disgraced war hero who went to prison and you actually believed him? Two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, I suppose. This is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. Yep. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. Why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the deputy has to say. You and me, Berg, we got this. I want all the details before I nail, nail you for this. Tell me everything. Ah, the cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. Oh. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. Here we go. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed, Everything. Turns out, our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. It destroyed it. Not all at once, of course. But we could never find anything that would grow in it. Eventually, everything we tried to plant failed. And died. So you used unwitting farmers to transform it? Mining is expensive. And so is the cost of raw materials. 
My mineral enriching fertilizer solves several problems at once. The farmers provide free manual labor. And once the land is ready, we move in to extract and process the soil. You destroyed lives to turn a profit? Look, I'll level with you. We're falling behind the competition. The hardworking people of this town depend on me for their livelihoods, and I won't let them down. Cutting my costs means saving their jobs. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> How could you do something so, so awful to innocent people, to families? Not another word out of you, Birgit. I can take your job and more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. Oh. You're right, of course. Something must be done. I'll set up a fund to handle funeral expenses and take care of any surviving family members. <laughs> we'll do this the right way. I give you my word. You're right. Yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm, well, uh, perhaps... A discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. Uh. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. Yeah, yeah keep talking, Jim. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Uh, you hand over that bonus real quick. How about I give you something instead? A funeral? The Warrior of Light bonus. You're going to turn yourself in and I'll be telling the Marshal everything. Are you trying to buy me off? Did I not make myself clear? I'm offering you a reward for a <laughs> job well done. Nothing more. And with that job so capably done. We'll consider the matter closed. I'll be needing that slate from Major Hull, of course. You're going to turn yourself in and I'll be telling the Marshal everything. Well, let's not be too hasty, Deputy. There's something else you need to consider. Oh, what's that, Jim? I'll do what's necessary to protect my company and my employees. Oh, yeah? If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. No. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? No one will suffer. Like you make those farmers suffer? But on a much larger scale, yes. I want justice. Justice can be complicated, Deputy. Sometimes the cost of exacting justice is greater than the cost of doing nothing. I'll make myself very plain. Let's hear I it. won't let you jeopardize my reputation, oh. this company, or the people who work for me. Oh. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're 
nothing. <laughs> you are so good. Actually, threatening to attack a free star ranger. Are you? That is so good. Wow. Wow. You just threatened a member of the Council of Governors. On my authority, you're stripped of rank, declared an outlaw. Guards! Dispose of this criminal! These bums out of here. Really? Really? to have you killed i don't understand mr hope always seemed like such a good person <laughs> you're nothing but everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries it was so awful no you're wrong that's not all he was he always looked out for us for his employees No, of course not. But there was more to him than that. He had a genuinely good side, a caring side. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> What happens to us now? You're the boss. That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. Wait a minute, there's no way that was murder. There's no way that that was committing murder. No way. No way in hell. That bum shot first. This is an shot him. <laughs> no, no. No, no. He was having me shot. Let's get the facts right here. Let's not get the... Let's not skew the story around. Just keep it holstered. And we'll get along fine. I told him, right? Remember when we took that photo? I told him, come on, I'm locking you up. And he was like, absolutely not. I'm going to have you killed. So he threatened a free star ranger. Right? 
and then I gunned him down. I wonder if you can just kill his security and then talk to him again. Ooh. Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Uh, it's more like a mass grave now. Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Yup. What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? He supplied the farms with an experimental fertilizer. It boosted the soil's mineral content, but it killed the crops. That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? I'd hoped he wouldn't turn him I hoped he would turn himself in, but he wouldn't go down without a fight. Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't <laughs> the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. No, no, While I'm the marshal. we got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? I've been ready since the start. But you should have slapped that on me instantly. Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. It's about damn time. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Well done, Ranger. 
That's it. Star Eagle class starship with no registration fee. Ranger space helmet. Congratulations. Ranger space suit. Ranger balance well pack. Earned. Ranger dual wheel. Something you need from me. And I got a new boat. Justifier. Done? We're done? Damn it. Oh, wow. I mean, it does look cool, but... It's got nothing on my peacemaker. That's kind of a cool looking pack, not gonna lie. Challenge mode, we're the coolest looking gear even if its stats are crap. Well, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm kind of wearing this. Like, I, I have a way better suit than this. This suit is not, not that great, man. Right, I've got a suit far better than this, but Peacemaker, rifles do 10% more damage. I'm taking that. Anytime. Hang on a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Starfield turns two months old today. Have I been playing... Have I been playing Starfield for two months today? Ten thermal, fifteen airborne. So Rangers work. Check in, here we go. It's never truly done. I see you wearing that neural amp. Don't try any of that mind control voodoo on me, pal. You better watch your damn mouth. A lot of famous okay. people visit Akira. The Ranger mission board is nice Popping if you feel like just shooting and blowing stuff up. You never know who you'll meet. Oh. I'll go have a look at the new boat in a sec. Let's get this, uh, let's get this quest done. See, this is why I turned off the autosave. Because now it just autosaves every time I... We need to be smarter. Better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey! How have you been? Staying out of trouble? Hang on. Staying out of it? No, I go look for it. Well, whatever gets you through the day. I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been... Well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. 
Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kind of, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. <laughs> I have recognized that Davis has an emotional reaction to my presence. We're on speaking terms, but he still gets agitated. I don't want to make things worse. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. Oh my god. Just... Just communicate, damn it. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Oh, brother. Why is it every time I see your face, I bet a <laughs> headache's gonna follow shortly after? <laughs> Davis, I'm hurt. Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? Um. And there's the headache. <laughs> ah. That woman, I swear, even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Uh, you just asked, dude. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people will pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. I think there's some other creature out there. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, something meaner than what we've seen so far, I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in a fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. Easy, dude. All right. You know, Kioni showed me her data. She's a clever kid. She's got a lot of things figured out. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. Come on, you know, tell your story, Wolfie Jim. She sets a data that she, she thought was erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But I tell you, I'm hoping she's right and it's just a glitch. And, uh,. No need to tell her I said that. Wouldn't want it going to her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often we get independent types who think that they can succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, whatever. Warnings just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time miner from some corporation or other he drags himself back into the city, bloody and half dead. <laughs> Claimed he seen an ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all said he was delirious. And me, well, I was new as anything and just listened to him. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the heat stroke. 
Maybe he really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? That's one big son of a bitch! See, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. Damn straight. That was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> you are something else. You know that? We got out alive this one time. That's good. This ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my yeah. pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Apex credits are like this usually territorial. You should be safe now. Looks like I can still learn a thing or two. Thanks again for saving my ass. <laughs> Weak. Yeah, nighttime, like um, dusk to nighttime is very, very quick. Davis would say that, even if it's true. No, he did. But it is true, isn't it? My data was accurate. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? No time to pay yourself on the back. You got work to do. Yeah, you're right. If anything, this has proven I should trust my instincts. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. <sighs> Now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you again. Despondent Assassin? Demoralizing. Hitman. Anti personnel. I mean, there's nothing instigating about it. That's the only problem. Boo. <sighs> so weak. JP, take it easy, man.
Nailed that. Man, so all we have is this. All we've got is the UC quest, Hadrian. Does that apply straight away? Does that actually reflect in the number? If I just crouch down? Nah. It'd be funny if it did. Well, I'll be... Okay, so let's go take a look at the ship then that I just got. can I do for you? Got anything you need to offload? Okay, no problem. The Frontier? The Razor Leaf? A pirate ship? And the Star Eagle? This thing's pretty slick. Two thousand eight hundred seventy two cargo. Okay, well, let's just do something real quick here because we just we really can't allow this, you know. ship? Are you kidding me? God. Slayton's way out there, dude? That's actually really cool. I, I quite like that. I like the way that this is designed, actually. See, look, these are all just a 15k. So this is like we're talking 60k. And the problem actually is that we could fit another one in there. This thing's mobility is 93. I mean, it's not bad. But it's definitely no dragon's horde, let me tell you that, yeah? I dragon's horde, dude. Let's, you know what I'm saying?
The Frontier. The Razor Leaf. Oh, I just need to color this. Sorry, I just, I can't. He's ridiculous. There we go. Must be black on black on black, dude. We can't have anything else. We can't have anything else. Pirate ship with the 4,000. Justin Bruce 89. Look at this thing with the supernovas on the back. Anyway. Anyway, we just got gifted this ship. So that's pretty cool. Alright. So that... So we're done. We, we do we did it we, we've done everything game's over man i got a funny feeling we're gonna get through all of these quests um in like the next two streams is the game really that short is it really like We only just started playing like... We only just started playing like two days ago. Like... We, hey. Wait, what just happened? The Razor Leaf? This is my ship. I didn't make this my home ship. Hold up. Dude. Why can I not, um, why can I not fast travel right now? I don't get it. Why would you have a long game if you only have 10 guns? <laughs> We're nearly there. Work done? You should inspect your ship for heat leak. Okay, no problem. This is my home ship, so I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why the other ship was on the uh 
was on the pad. Cannot fast travel. What? What is going on? Uh, this is not my home. Sh oh, you mean you you mean just change my home ship? I don't even know why this this has been made into my home ship. But then wouldn't it, mo wouldn't it, um, wouldn't it switch to the last one that I modified? Like, why, why is it that one? That's not even the new ship I got. Yeah, but I just painted two ships and the last one that I painted, would it not, would that not be the one that's on there? Anything I can help you with? Sure, how about it? Would would it not? We're going to have to make a delivery here. That's right. Let's put this Ranger spacesuit away. First mercenary, first soldier, first soldier outfit, Paxton's officer hat, ranger dual wear. So that's that done. So I should be able to get the hell out of here now, right? Done. How in the holy hell are you at 3.6 mil? Easy. We've spent probably like two mil. Uh, actually, we've spent probably about two and a half to three mil. Um, I have at least two million dollars in loot in my ship. At least. Actually, let's go and sell some stuff. Actually, you know what I should have done? Oh, God. Ah, dude. Survey. You want to make cash? Survey. Uh, 
to me it's way faster surveying is way faster than leveling up man than doing anything else look how fast i was gaining levels every stream surveying i've been playing for like two days now and i've gained two levels i would gain three levels a day surveying he's got money uh, still spend so much time looking at the scan you've tipped my oh he has no money Raise the thoughts with you later. Mm. My thoughts. Oh, let's go here. Sit and wait twenty. F wait. No waiting, no sleeping. We haven't slept. We've slept for one hour in about 200 days. Okay. We don't wait and we don't sleep. Get back to work. Isn't SSNN up there? Hang on a minute. If you haven't, you have that look in your eye. What a sordid mess. We've got some other sources we've been interviewing, but I'd love to get your take on the record. I was there. So there was a mercenary company, the first, and they were involved in taking farmlands from Freestar Collective families. Extortion, death threats, murder, all of it. Is that right? Um... Not going to say. I will never, ever give up my source. If anybody asks about you, they get the same answer. I genuinely don't know how people like that can live with themselves. So all of that? Terrible. But Ron Hope, THE Ron Hope, was involved with it at the highest level. All of that suffering was a plot to save Hope Tech from going under using the side effects of a fertilizer he developed. Let me be blunt. The other sources say you killed Ron Hope. Is that correct? Um... Well, let's just say that, uh... And all that money didn't help in the end. After all of that, the future of Hope Tech is an open question. Their stock has already taken a beating. Not sure if it's going to go into freefall. Any comment? I know it'll weather the storm. For what it's worth, I'm rooting for them too. Thanks. If you listen to the news, you'll definitely hear this. And, uh, maybe try not to ice any more CEOs. Just a thought. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um... What was the thing I was doing? Oh, while I'm here, um, let's just go and sell some stuff. Yeah, I mean, he tried to kill me first. He tried to have me killed, man. What?
he tried to have me killed that bastard. I would never dream of selling substa. Yes, by all means. Have... 5k, okay. Oh, look, my inventory is just... Wow. Wow. Rock and roll eight. Welcome. Welcome. So... Knife, Beowulf, Big Bang, Breach, Bridget, Coachman, Butterbing, Refined, Eon, Equinox, Grindel, Hard Target, Kadama. Instigating Hard Target. Psh, broken. Peacemaker. This thing is insane. So what would this be? 1054? I wonder how much that would do now. Maelstrom, Meg, Pulse, Meg, Sheer, Meg, Shot, the Mutineer. Meg, Sniper, this thing is 1688. Mm. Micro gun, negotiate, disrupt, and overlight. I can't tell if this thing is advanced or not. got something for like 500 bucks see you around easy champ I'll go across the road to UC sell the stuff there um, go up to the residential sell that go down to the trade sell that making still making dents got to get down to about 50 guns or thereabouts i guess i don't know Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval. Welcome to UC District. Yes, of course. When? When are we going to get this uh, this update? When do we get it? Man. Furious and incendiary. Damn it. Back to it then. There's a guy in a high-end coffee shop with a mission for you if you haven't gotten it yet. The coffee shop is located in the corner on the other side of the UC mast. Um, what's the quest called? I've got an A quest from there. It's 
caribou. Yep, done. Done that one. Yo, where is the residential district? save all right sell a few more it wasn't that long ago that we did that only probably like a week ago or something wait no, we did that on day one, so the three, four, three, four streams ago. Oh, I can't remember. You know, I'm sure you already know there's no one size fit. I'm sure we can. When did we even start playing the game? The 18 hour stream? Uh, here we go. Doing. Doink. Three point six nine million. We're down to one six oh three. A one six oh. Oh man, yes. All right, I'm gonna jump up here in a second. It's time for a, a, a nightly hot drink. Um, so we did that. Now we need to go to... Coffee, tea, or Milo? I think I'm going to go for a Milo with some coffee in it. Nah, I'll just go straight Milo. Although a cup of tea sounds quite nice, actually. Like a like a tea sounds pretty good. I haven't had one for a while. Got any? Think you need to offload? Trade dogs. authorities always buy. Kiosk right here for you. quite sweet oh yeah which like which ones there's a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on display hope you're Coffee finding everything Milo. you need oh please take a look damn straight what's this guy got so from bit 161 two three four where are we at Link. Five sixty. Appreciate the business. Yeah. Strawberry and blood orange, etc. It was like a pack. Oh, yeah. I know the ones. Um, they're like little white, individually packed, like teas. They're like the the wrapper is like white, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I finished the last ones that I had of those. Pretty good. You 
look like you need something. People joke. Have you progressed the main story? Nope. It's cliche, but it's true. Everything. Of course. Of course. 11,000. Dude, this is serious stuff. We're getting there. 3.7 mil. 165. Uh, we still have 1,300 something. They call it the Great Serpent. Is it real? Hell if I know. The trade authority appreciates your visit. That makes them dangerous. Applying for another help desk roll. Oh, yeah. Problem. Let's go to Mars then. Let's go and continue the UC quest. And then at the end of that, then what do we do? Carry on with the main story. Right? DLSS download. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. But this week, yeah? I'm going to be finished the game. But this is going to be like, here you go. DLSS. Triple your frame rate. I'm going to be like, man. <laughs> really? Now? After me, like, getting through all my surveys. Running around at 5 FPS on some of the planets. Now you're going to DLSS me? Alright. I'm going to quick save this. Give me a couple minutes, yeah? Hot drink time. All right. Hot drinks acquired. We got some cookies. Still no word from the cabinet. Anything you wanted to discuss in the interim? That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of. They were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mines before they could join up. The Devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. 
I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the Colony War, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Ve Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Uh, it's hard to know exactly what might sway them. I'd just be honest about what you saw. A colony wiped out, and a lot of lives lost. Something we don't want anyone else to have to experience. Um, <clears throat> if I don't have hundreds of hours to spend... This is not a hundreds of hours of, uh, a, like... Gameplay game, man. Don't, don't get it, um... Don't get, don't use my, my playthrough is a very, very bad example of how long a game would take. Honestly, really, really bad. I spend far too much time doing really, really nonsensical stuff. Or very non-typical things. I strain from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon if we succeed. The Terramore project never went anywhere. It couldn't. They are deadly creatures, but they aren't Xeno weapons. The cabinet not opening the archives is probably a bigger risk than them handing over the files. That data itself isn't dangerous. Which <sighs> probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up, should the opportunity arise. Like, have you played Fallout? Have you played Fallout or Skyrim? And if you've played those two games, how like how much time did you typically spend in those games? Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Oh, man. Here we go. It's hard to gauge. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. We could always get it on Game Pass. Mr. Multiferous is not here, so we, we don't have we don't have the Game Pass spiel. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Yeah, no problem. Um. Don't keep my ship fueled, ma'am. Mm. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope will determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. You see, Freestar Collective and House Varun. Oh. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps it's... you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Well, we need to figure out whether these Terramorphs are, are being planted around or whether they're, you know, how they're getting around, right? 
because dude we, we, we don't know what's going on that's quite the leap captain madam president i object to the very premise of this meeting while no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, terror morph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. <clears throat> They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. You watch your damn mouth. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Actually, I cut it down in one second. It was easy. Um, huh. I'm not the good guy to, to, to ask about this because Terra Morph, Marshmallow Morph, nothing was easy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> um... Just taking her word for it as well, then. Hmm. So it would seem. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I've heard nothing here to convince me that we should do anything but wait. And I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, Chief Diplomat. So then, while the data you two have presented is compelling, I think we can safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Perhaps once we've... What was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terror morphs. Shame! Terror morphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. There. There must be another explanation. The creatures we evaded our it. scanner somehow. Let's just take him right there now. There will be plenty of time for Get conjecture this guy out of the team. later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. Going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. No, I don't I don't want a teammate. No, I don't want a teammate.
You're not supposed to be our You! The EM rifle! Grab it! Now! Stop! We're trying to help you! That's it. Now hit him with everything you've got. Thank you for what you did. We didn't... we didn't want to hurt them. The way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. They were down at the port and they just started screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... But some of the other officers down there, we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire, and keep that EM weapon at the ready. If someone comes at me, I'm putting him down. I honestly was just wondering the same thing. But no, you don't need to worry about me. I've had a Terramorph try it on me before. I'm not susceptible. So we'll just have to make sure to watch out for each other down there. No, I'm watching myself. You do your own thing, man. Well, this is, I'm a solo player. I'm not suggesting. It's documented behavior. The result of the projection, though, can vary wildly. Some folks just shrug it off. Others hallucinate. And some lose control altogether. They'll lash out at anyone around them. But still be aware while they're doing it. Those cases... You'll either need to knock them out with EM fire, or free them by killing the Terramorph. Let's do it. Nat's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Um... Mucking around with no EM weapons? Psh, stop it. We killing Terramorphs, end of discussion. My 
god. No time to waste. 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 Why am I doing no damage? hit the hey much obliged for the company on this here stream you'll be sure to mosey on back now because we're inching closer to that red dead redemption 2 run with each passing day until next time keep your spurs shiny and your last two ready <laughs> wait officer are you and this woman are experts take whatever we can get right now we've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad Barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before, huh? Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Don't you worry about that. Speak to the fire team. You see the size of that thing? Heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there on your six. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Your call. We're on the line.
Look alive, Captain! of them. Oh, it's inside that. Little do I know that I just set fire to like a hundred, hundred guys out there. Dude, these terramorphs are like made out of concrete. I've already killed them all, but I'm still taking ammo, champ. Okay? We're all good here. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. I need these. Yeah? I need those things desperately. Hmm. Guess they weren't kidding about you, too. Universe put the right people in the right place. That's right. Just you remember who saved you. Okay. Let it sink in, damn it. Hmm. Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant.
timing was too good. What the hell is going on here? Send in one hand. That's all they need. I know, dude. When are they gonna get it? Get it in their heads. Yeah. We just killed like a whole base or like a hundred and fifty dudes, of the best of the best of the best. They said you're free to come and go. That's right. Better believe it. That's a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. We're yes, counting on you, Captain. Ah, there Don't you let are. let my people sacrifice. I believe vain. we have some things we should discuss. Those creatures killed UC citizens. They're not killing anymore. No, you Captain? guys did. Hadrian, it would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Keep it coming. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. That's right. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Better late than never, I suppose. I take my gratitude and credits, real estate, or luxury goods. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, after today's events, the Cabinet has decided to revisit its previous decision. We will be supporting your collection of the Terramorph data from the Archives. As well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. Yeah, and I've been... The cabinet I've, wants you, Captain, I've seen the to entire be that galaxy. representative. Yeah. There's no other person. Where is the option for me to be like, yes, very good? We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast-track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? I'm the only person who can get it done. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Don't need that. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will Rubbish. be your guide on gaining access to the archives. We don't. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United <laughs> Colonies, you have our thanks. We are dismissed. Damage to the space, the space port. port. The costs of this attack are greater than I think we that. realize. I'm going to go check hey. in with Chief Engineer Kulkarni. Start getting a plan together for that data. Cool. I'm going to go and blab to the SSNN. The things in. we do here, the tech we develop, benefits all of humanity. Excuse me. We should just close out the Varun files. Waste of drive space. Yes. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre. Chief Yassin's second in command. I don't know if I've done I the Chirubis quest. I heard you were quest. instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also told the President wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, I've got no time to waste. You know what the Archives are, correct?
correct? No. Ha. Huh. All right. We'll start at the beginning. When the colony war ended, the UC and Freestar Collective came to the agreement some weapons needed to be off limits. Mechs. Xeno warfare. So they gathered up all the relevant research materials and sealed that information away. Terramorph data included in the archives here in the city. Okay. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Nah. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Very funny. This is going to be hard enough already. Okay, sorry. Both ambassadors <laughs> have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now... I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but she ultimately, just that it'll aside. be up to you to get them both to cooperate. <laughs> she and just... I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Okay, okay. So that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Radcliffe. First name, Daniel. Easy, right? I'll teach him how to use a great sword. Drop the wand, right? Give it up. You're nothing. Pick a real job. Ah, the good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. What other tools? I think you're underestimating how delightful I am. Huh. Well, if that's the case... I'll wait to be pleasantly surprised. But we do have one item up our sleeve. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. Wow. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device... You're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. Ah, huh. okay. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Of course, but there is another wrinkle. A wrinkle. We're huh. not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Oh. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. And if he's dead? Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Wow. 
I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Wow, what now, the hell? if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Crazy. What is going on? Yes, what? Oh, hang on a second. I didn't realize that that was the quest that you were talking about. But I remember it now. Yes. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yubi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a minute. What the hell is going on here? Isn't the SSNN just over here? Am I in the wrong area? visitor you'll find the ambassador in her office go on through okay here we go Security and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? This building is Freestar Sovereign Territory. What? So in here. Cool I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Yeah. What are you? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. <laughs> she said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, 
that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice archives. Yep, that's it. Some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy. That's right. In order to protect us all. Mm. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. You hit it correctly. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. Wow. Um. The warmongers of the UC will find a way to make it dangerous. You have my word. And the archival monitors could ensure that's all you take. Huh, that would work. Oh. Oh my god. Preventing more deaths is precisely what I'm trying to do by keeping the archives sealed. Captain, I'm sorry, but my answer is not changing. The UC is just gonna have to find another way. Now, I presume you can see yourself out. Um, I'm going to speak to the staffer. I'm going to see if I can speak to the staffer first. Space pants, you missed all plant dude. We've all done a lot. Security and they still can't we have done a lot since then. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, maybe I can't talk to the staffer first. Official business? Talk to the ambassador. That woman is an absolute... Oh, sorry. Oh, what? You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Heard that, huh? Yeah, the ambassador likes to treat us like family, yeah. And she doesn't care for most of them either. She's sitting right there, brother. They said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally. Even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City. So you should probably go speak to her. You want to work with me? I. Why don't we talk somewhere uh, a bit more private? A few steps around the corner. Sure. Let's go. Let's talk in my office. Okay, let's go, Jim. So you want me to 
work with you. But why now? Why me? We need help preventing more terramorph attacks and we're not expecting the ambassador's support. No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? Mm. Okay, uh, <clears throat> first you need her bio key and that thing doesn't leave her side. Better chance of splitting the atom with a spoon than me getting that from her. Her quarters. Huh. Oh, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? Um. Oh, wait. I thought you were looking to hire me. Oh, I'm not taking a bribe. Uh oh, uh, <clears throat> that much, huh? Uh, okay, no, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, there's a utility corridor that leads into the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC. No, no, not that much. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Folded like a cheap suit, man. Took him like one second. I'm gonna just try and persuade her. Right? I'm gonna take one shot. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one, McIntyre. You have my thanks for. Now, she also... That now the UC... I can only presume you're here to tell me I'm... Hmm. I was a... Let me be frank. I will not be the one... You're really gonna push this? I'm listening. <sighs> I could be the hero here. A ranger serving the cause of the colonies. You must really believe in this little endeavor. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Agreed. Excellent. Follow me. Oh, it's done. Okay. We didn't need to do anything shady. I lost 8,000, but it's okay. They tell me it should only take a moment. Here, 
I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Damn, that was it. I just needed the code. I just needed her code and I need the House Varun code and then with all three of the codes I can go into the archives. So she had one. Gotta go get it from the House Varun guy but they don't even know if the House Varun guy is even still alive. Well, I, she she needed her little uh, encoding device thing to plug into that machine. So it was something that she had. She needed to plug it into the machine to get the to get the um to to get the code. Looks a little, looks a little worse for wear. Yeah, something about her genetic print, so it needed to be her. What's the big deal with this archive? It just contains all the weapons and and uh, information about all the stuff that was like, I guess, failed. Government secrets and all that kind of shit. Keys. 
so we've pretty much done everything that this game has to offer right we've pretty much racked up all the quests it's taken us like three or four streams yeah we've knocked our whole activity list all the way down um we've got a couple of miscellaneouses here we've done all of the ryujin quest line we just finished all the freestar quest line and now we're finishing off the uh the uc quest line and then we'll do some main stuff Ryujin for sure. The final freestyle was cool. Crazy. I accidentally picked up a book. Damn it. Hundred percent auto, I have no idea. Honestly.
my god. Nah. Achievements are not really the goal for me. Like surveying every planet, that's that's not an achievement. Know what I mean? Like I do do I do. I like self-imposed kind of stuff better than better than a lot of achievements. This thing is, uh... Damn. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. What the hell? Come, let us discuss. Magazines in here for me, champ. Bashing is like the worst it could have been. Boo. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Mm. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Huh, is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door? Hmm? <laughs> and the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but 
coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, an archive code. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Perfectly. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Guarantee. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. Absolutely. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure it's used for good. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. Uh, let's hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good. Nailed it. A video cassette tape? Will we all be so lucky next time the archives need to be accessed? Something to think on. It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. But the great serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. Why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. Mm. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. Where'd they go? The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Okay, dude. The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is fate itself. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies 140 years ago for distant stars, it was the Serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The Serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. Hmm. I wonder if, uh, if, um, if I had what's her face with me, Andrea, that she would talk to him. Know what I mean? Decent. Nothing else in here. Wow. The 
that's it. Damn. Oh well. Freaking poison shit. My God. Made it. Dude, this place needs a. Uh, need to get a Swiffer. by Swiffer. Oh, we got people walking around. I asked my boss what they're doing to stop you. Oh, all the people are back outside. Everybody cool? Some light dusting, yeah. Couple of rumors driven with cats, cat pilots. I know your type, a free wheel in space ace. Must be nice. Oh, wrong way. Hello. <clears throat> Let's save this right here. Something's up with my aircon. Guys, just give me a sec. Quick bathroom break. <coughs> Wait, what bip? Two folks just staring at, at each other in silence. Not awkward at all. Oh my god. Captain, <laughs> you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore. It was easy. I told We're you. all in agreement. It was easy, I told you. You saved him. You Vanguard really do take that above and beyond thing seriously, don't you? Fine work. Thank you. And now I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Eh, hey, don't worry about this stuff. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. We don't the need... entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Mm -mm. Absolute best behavior down there. Yeah. All right? All right about me, dude. What do you think I'm going to do? Start stealing stuff? Come on. Who do you think you're talking to right here? That's right. My reputation Pardon? is flawless. There's people still doubting me. Like, <sighs> after all we've done, everyone still doubts us. Imagine, imagine a game that like tracks your flawless record and then changes the dialogue. According. So if you, if you're a bum 
and you mess everything up, you're an absolute dolt and you pick all the dangerous options, the dialogue changes to suit. However, if you're a, if you're a, like a top agent, flawless, impeccable record, changes accordingly. You know what I'm saying? What I dream about is a game with AI, chat, GPT generated dialogues and character creation would be fantastic, would it, would it not? blow this place up. Are we good? I mean, they've already done some. They've already done some. There is one mod that has kind of like. Um, some AI chat in Skyrim. I'm sure you've already seen that stuff. Works pretty decently. Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. You haven't played any RPGs before. Not my kind of thing, which goes to show that Starfield is a really good game. Got hooked immediately. So what did you, what do you used to play? So what's what's your normal um, genre, I guess? I, yes, it will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This, this is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. 
The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, mm. seemed mm. the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. I played a lot of um I played a lot of civilization and colonization back in the day, Age Order. of Empires, Disciples, all that kind of stuff. Heroes of Might and Magic, of course. But I kind of fell off at about Civ Four or maybe Civ Five. I haven't really played much sim games since then. You played football manager, we know it. No Man's Sky? Yeah, have you played No Man's Sky? Oh my god, dude. The time of day. The time of day for this. Oh... Wow, dude, holy shit. Anno 1800 is easily one of my top games of all time. Really, the whole Anno series, but it's the best of the bunch, really. So what makes it so good? Like, what? what is the thing? Captain, are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Yes. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Yes, I've never thrown a grenade into the, the public. Ever. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. Thank you very much. Also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. Ah. Uh. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Agreed. I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there.
Love it. I've been going back watching the VODs on YouTube since I missed out most of the stream by the time I wake up. My favorite part is and continues to be has been blown away by the visuals. It's just such a fantastic looking game, dude. Like, if, like, like, what, what other game gives you views like this? None. That's right. There, there isn't any. Red Dead Redemption 2. Come on. What the hell are you guys discussing? Right. I'm going to load that game up and I'm going to be like, you guys told me it was better than Starfield. It's nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see. Yeah, 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 I'll see. I'll be the judge of that. Me. Okay. Anybody else's opinion irrelevant. My opinion. Maximum. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Is about to scan every tree in RDR2. That's right. Full map wipe. Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. Full map wipe. Map squeaky Is clean. Type of weapon Combatech won't make? Special powers. Warrior V8. Warrior V8. That's the only power I need. Whew. Are you looking at me? Uh, we'll destroy you. I challenge you has to find all the animals in RDR2. Easy. Easy. There's no challenge, right? That's too difficult with regards to finding loot. Not for me, dude. I'll find everything in that game down onto the atomic level right i've got the ears of a worm right the eyes of a spider i can see everything and hear everything feel everything my god you'll see where am i going i see loot in here Why does this this seems like a <laughs> the security guy sees me running the opposite direction? <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, proceed down this way." Yeah, security clearance, and I just turn around and run in the other. <laughs> Hello? Is he looking at me? Hey boss, thank you. Black market antiquities. What the hell you guys got in here? Oh, I love this. This is a great room, dude. There's all kinds of shit in here. Guy who couldn't afford a place with a view clearly. 
He's hidden underground in a top secret facility. Um. Where no one can know he's he is. Um. He must be. Continue whenever you like. Hey, I'm thinking. Um. He must be the guy that they said that they killed, but they didn't kill him. They said that he was supposed to be executed for war crimes. But instead of killing him, they locked up, they, they've locked him up down here. That lady's dead. I think that's the same guy. Perceptive. I like that. I'm Francois Fanon. But most know me as Victus. I was an admiral during the colony war. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. Uh -huh. So they put me here. Yeah, yeah. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. My God. That's Hadrian's last name. Every day I get the chance to work with a man living in a fish tank. Keep talking. <laughs> After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. Go on. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face 
Space Tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Consider him dust. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There's a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Easy. All right. Oh. Ah. Subsection seven. Ah, uh, okay. Let me just have a look, a quick look here. I'm just gonna check something real quick, like down in this closed space, right? Down in this closed space. Isn't that insane, dude? Zero FPS difference. I don't get it. Maybe because I'm using all Intel stuff and, and you know, NVIDIA GPUs, this, this FSR2 just makes no difference on a 3080. I don't know, man. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird that I can just, like, I can gain zero FPS by messing about with all these systems? Isn't that weird? A new legend is born. Kandinsky. Kandinsky. The brand new Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Dude, step into the armory. Thank you, man. I appreciate the brand new Prime. This is for you. Level one. A claymore. Not my finest work, but it will do the job. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you, thank you. They may have locked the game to lower rates to stop crashes. I mean... I do find it interesting, that's all. And I wanted to do it down here because it's a nice little enclosed space, you know? So... What will happen? So this is everything is on low. Upscaling is off. Everything is on. I gain nothing from like... We gain nothing. We gain zero. So if I turn this off, I turn this off, everything is on low, yeah? I didn't gain a single FPS. You, you see that? Not a single FPS. One. One FPS. Nope. It's bouncing between 34 and 35. One. It's unreal, dude. Unreal. 
Unreal. <laughs> we gained one FPS. That's massive. It's just crazy. It's crazy, man.